साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द अपकमिंग प्रिलिम्स ट्वेंटी एग्जाम प्रिसाइसली बिकॉज आई आर एम एस एंड सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन हैव अ कॉमन प्रिलिम्स एग्जाम बट द प्रॉब्लम बींग फेस्ड बाय ऑल इज दैट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इज अ बिग ओशन a vast ocean in itself and we can't go on endlessly studying for science and technology while compromising on other subjects so can we use a filter so as to shrink this vast ocean of science and technology this is precisely what we'll be learning in today's video what we we'll learn is how many science and tech questions can be prepared through pyqs alone and how to truly study smart and manage vast content and what is the bare minimum preparation expected from us when it comes to science and tech in particular and prelims exam in general and how upsc prelims is very predictable very briefly about me my name is zishar hashmi I cleared prelims six times. I have four plus years of mentorship experience. I have mentored hundred plus UPSC rankers, including All India Rank 65 Pranav, All India Rank 117 Nisha, All India, uh, All India Rank 267 Soham, and so on. And 80 percent of my students have scored 110 plus in UPSC prelims. Let's have a look at this question from 2022. prelims paper now this question was on dna bar coding could we have prepared well in advance for this particular question let's have a look earlier in 2019 upsc had asked a question on molecular scissors and earlier in the year 2000 upsc had asked a question on dna fingerprinting so molecular scissors and dna fingerprinting so what is our anchor here our anchor is that symbolic names are being asked that don't have a literal meaning when it comes to science and tech in general and biotech in particular say for example this question uh, this term molecular scissor this is not a literal scissor right and dna fingerprinting it's not a literal fingerprint but they are implying the uh, the inherent process involved so similarly based on this anchor what could be the possible future questions for which we could prepare ourselves certainly one could be dna barcoding number 2 zombie gene number 3 epigenetic clock number 4 franken food number 5 gene gun and so on so this is not an exhaustive list we'll be doing this in great detail in the class so this is just for our reference purpose and as we saw in 2022 we had this question on dna bar coding so what have we done here we have done level 4 analysis which we also call as the sherlock level of analysis because the keywords over here the pyqs over here don't provide a direct hint there is no explicit hint uh, given by the question Say for example, this question on molecular scissors or DNA fingerprinting. No explicit hint being given, but we are trying to investigate it almost like an investigator, almost as if Sherlock Holmes would have looked at these particular questions. So we prepared ourselves for similar quirky linkages that the paper setter might make from the domain of biotech or science tech in general. and we were prepared for this particular question on in 2022 on dna barcoding so that's sherlock level analysis level 4 let's move to level 3 now this was yet another question in 2022 uh, which was on short range devices and technologies now let's see how we could be prepared for this question based on past year paper analysis uh, in 2020 upsc has uh, had asked this question on long range communication now this statement was wrong because it was not long range vlc is a short range communication now we go a, a step ahead we go a step deeper and ask ourselves if 
UPSC has asked a question on short range communication technology. It means that short range technologies, short range devices or short range communication in general is on the radar of the paper setup. It is on the radar of UPSC. So our anchor here is prominent developments in short range communications. That is our anchor based on the past year questions that we saw. What could be the possible questions which could emanate from this anchor? Number one, wireless local area network. Number two, CCTV, closed circuit television, RFID, radio frequency identification, ZigBee, near field communication, NFC, Bluetooth, low energy, BLE and so on. Again, this is not an exhaustive list. And again, in 2022, there was this question on short range devices or short range technologies. So we prepared ourselves based on level three analysis. The question here had asked, uh, there was a specific question on short range communication with respect to VLC. So we probed further, which another short range communication technologies could be asked or are prominently into news that we should note down. And here we have just noted six out of the many out there. And we could prepare ourselves for the upcoming question in 2022. Let's move to a level two analysis. There was again this, this question in 2022 on non-fungible tokens. Let's see, could we prepare ourselves for this question beforehand? Earlier in 2020, UPSC had asked a question on blockchain technology with respect to its applications. So here the context is very clear. Applications of blockchain technology. Now this was asked in 2020. So our anchor from this past year paper is prominent applications of blockchain technology. Now in level two, in level two analysis, we probe the context and the context as we saw is applications of blockchain technology. So based on this anchor of prominent application of blockchain technology, what could be the possible questions that could arise? One would be non-fungible tokens, cryptocurrency, smart contracts, digital asset management, games like crypto kitties and so on. Again, it is not an exhaustive list. We'll discuss this in detail in the class. And again, in 2022, as we saw, there was this question on non fungible tokens. Again, based on level two analysis, level two analysis, within the context given by the question here, the context was application of blockchain technology. So in this manner, we were prepared for this upcoming question in 2022. So we saw level four, level three, level two. Let's see a level one uh, type of question. Now uh, this was again a question in 2022, uh, which was on polyethylene terephthalate. Let's see, could we have prepared ourselves for this question? Earlier in 2021, there was this question on bisphenol A and one of the options, one of the options was polyethylene terephthalate. So we just ask, to ourselves, what is polyethylene terephthalate? We go for level one analysis. In level one analysis, we simply probe the given keywords. Here, the keywords are quite clear. The keywords are polycarbonate, polyvinyl chloride, low density polyethylene, and polyethylene terephthalate. We probe them, and the anchor, the anchor for us over here is basic information on polyethylene terephthalate. That's level one analysis. What would be the possible questions, prominent users of polyethylene terephthalate, government initiatives with respect to polyethylene terephthalate, controversies, any controversies with respect to polyethylene terephthalate, headlines, has polyethylene terephthalate made headlines for any prominent reason and so on. So this could be possible ways in which UPSC could frame a question on polyethylene terephthalate. And in 2022, we had a complete question on polyethylene terephthalate. So, it's as if UPSC has chosen this option from a PYQ and framed a complete question on that option, polyethylene terephthalate in this case, and we derived this by level one analysis. So we started with level four, Sherlock level analysis, level three, level two, level one. We have seen four questions from uh, 2022, four questions from science tech domain, which we could have prepared based on science and uh, tech PYQs from science and tech and analyzing them quite methodically. Now, dominant prelims 
2.0 the kind of analysis that we have just seen we would be doing the same both for static and current affairs now it doesn't mean that we, we would be covering entire static and current affairs for the upcoming prelims but the most important and the most relevant uh, static and current uh, current facets drawn from the past year papers which are highly likely to replicate in the upcoming prelims 2023 paper we will be we will be covering that then we will be having a 10 days workshop for intelligent paper solving skills where we would learn how do we attempt a question correctly in case we have little or even zero idea about that question then we will have another workshop again for 10 days where we would be analyzing past year papers and deriving maximum value possible so as to prepare ourselves for the upcoming prelims 2023 exam the joining link of the program is given in the description box below and last but not the least do comment your insights about the video did you find it insightful did you find it useless or even if you found it a complete post facto analysis you can even say that just pour your heart out this was all in today's video this is zishar hashmi signing off